I'm Tim Burford from New South Wales Department of Primary Industries and I manage the Dairy Industry Group uh, from DPI. Today what we're doing is we're using innovative technology to bring to our stakeholders, principally Dairy Australia, a whole range of activities and achievements we've been able to develop and deliver in Dairy Pathways 2. So what is Dairy Pathways? Dairy Pathways has a vision and the vision has always been that we want to work as a group collaboratively with the whole of industry to achieve an outcome and the outcome is dairy farms in New South Wales that are profitable, that are environmentally sustainable, that actually have working on them happy farming families and they're in areas where the community are proud of them. Now Dairy Australia who our video is targeted towards, are significant contributors to our activities. The State of New South Wales, of course, provides the staffing and the infrastructure and the background as far as the overheads. But Dairy Australia lets us get out there and implement and also, very importantly, allows us to develop a whole range of decision support tools, uh, material backup to allow us to achieve our ends. Hi, I'm Kerry Kempton and I'm the Technical Specialist Daring for, with New South Wales DPI based at Tokal in the Hunter Valley. And I have a couple of roles in the Dairy Pathways project. I've been coordinator of the project since its outset in uh, 2005 and I've also been involved in the development and delivery team, particularly around the areas of business management and human resource management. So we've concentrated a fair bit on improving our own capacity to deliver in the business management area and also to develop a number of tools to help both um, deliverers and farmers in business analysis. Our flagship decision support tool in the business management area has been the Milk Biz program. Farmers were telling us they wanted something that was a bit more user friendly, a bit quicker to use and to give them a snapshot of how their businesses were performing and to let them um, test some scenarios in terms of inputs around number of cows, milk production, feed inputs, milk prices, etc. So Mini Milk Biz was developed for that purpose. So it requires a relatively small amount of data but still gives a very accurate picture of cash flow and some key farm performance indicators. So I'm Ian Simpson. We are located in Denman, New South Wales, in the Upper Hunter. Now, working with with the group of Future Dairy and investment people like Kerry Kempton and Anthea, etc., and using our nutritionist has been brilliant. It's you know, they've all come together, very cooperative, good ideas, not forceful in in presenting things to you. They, they give you options which is really good because I'm a person that takes a while to let, let a thing sink in. So that, that's been extremely good. The group participation has been extremely good. All farmers participating uh, and feeling very free about it. It's giving us a, given me a lot more confidence in, in my farming practice. Some of our other tools that we've developed and that are available for farmers to use are Ration Check and its more user-friendly version, Mini Ration Check that allows farmers to just see whether their diets are adequate for their targets that they've set for their herds. We've also have a tool called Milk Predict that lets farmers then make adjustments to their diet and to quickly see how that impacts upon their milk production and more particularly their margin over feed cost. Yeah, it's certainly been a worthwhile project. Um, it's certainly um, taught us a lot more about the cost of growing feed on, on lease country and um, yeah just from a bit of feedback from the other farmers get given us a few ideas on a few different things to try next year as far as um, well not so much on that block but on the home block we'll be we'll probably have a go at some of the brassicas and um, but yeah generally it's been a really good program. As a result of 
the Dairy Pathways Program and our developments in the business management area, I believe that New South Wales DPI now has the capability, the toolkit and our people have the industry experience to be able to support farmers as they navigate their way through um, the many factors and variables that influence farm businesses um, and the changes that are ongoing from year to year. Hi, my name's Michael Ison and I work for New South Wales Department of Primary Industries at Tokel. And my role within the Dairy Pathways 2 project was to manage the human resource section. During that time, we've developed some groundbreaking resources and supported the people in Dairy Project at Dairy Australia with a whole range of, of uh, workshops, podcasts and other resources that farmers can use. One of the key resources that we've worked on are website resources. So on our DPI website there are over 20 downloadable files, prime facts and articles and templates that farmers can download and use, as well as a series of nine videos that they can access to look at all the various aspects of working with people on their farm. We've also had input into the People in Dairy website, which is a groundbreaking website for the dairy industry developed by the People in Dairy program. Over 2009 and 2010, we delivered over nine one-day sessions and three three-day sessions across New South Wales and Queensland, reaching over 157 dairy farmers. The feedback from those workshops were great. They certainly helped farmers become more aware of the issues around people and help them with accessing resources from the website and the People in Dairy program so that they can have a more productive arrangement, more productive relationship with the people working on the farm. Three of our staff have undertaken the Diploma of Business Management um, and Human Resources developed through the NCDA and the People in Dairy project. And two of our staff are now recognised as senior advisors for that program. As well, we've worked very closely in this project with NCDEA. We helped to develop resources for the NCDEA. We've also worked closely with them to set up the Education Advisory Committee in New South Wales, which took bringing together a whole range of players together to form that committee over a period of 18 months. I'm Vicky and I'm reporting on the herd performance and management um, section of Dairy Pathways. It's our Rev Up Replacement uh, Extension Program which has been rolled out across the state as part of the Dairy Pathways Program. Um, it's reached over 300 farm businesses um, across about 19 different regions um, within New South Wales. So it's been extremely well ro rolled out and feedback from that program has been excellent. We've, so we know from the feedback from the farmers that we've received from all across New South Wales that that has been a really effective program. Farmer demand was to look at herd health and the issues that are facing farmers in terms of specific diseases like pestivirus, tuileriosis, um, Bovignoni's disease and a broad spectrum um, of diseases that farmers identified they wanted to know more information at. So currently we have a pilot um, herd health update day running which is trying to provide farmers with very scientific research based decisions as to how to manage this disease on farm. Um, where we can across all our projects we've live tried to link with um, national programs like In Calf, Countdown Down Under, um, We Care About Calves, Animal Welfare, um, Calf Health programs that Dairy Australia have coming out along with Grains to Milk. Our biggest Grains to Milk program has been cow Cool Cows. Um, we did, that was a massive rollout across New South Wales with over 19 workshops, one day workshops and 210 farm businesses being reached. The other side of things have been lameness. Um, and we've had specific training days across the state with looking at lameness, identifying it, identifying the risks on farm. The mastitis days focus on reducing cell counts. The other thing, great thing about what we've done, particularly in the herd health one, is expand the capacity of the dairy industry to be able to service the farmers better. 
I'm Anthea Lyle, Dairy Officer with New South Wales DPI based in Scone. I'm predominantly involved in the feed base area of our team, but I work across other technical areas as well. Applying the feeding principles of the Future Dairy 2 research project to New South Wales dairy farms has been a major focus in Dairy Pathways 2. This collaboration between the Future Dairy research team and New South Wales DPI's extension team is a real success story in the linkage of levy funded research with regional farmers. Uh, it's been very re rewarding. Uh, we've been able to lift our pasture utilisation from 11 and a half to around about 14 over the whole farm. And I think we're looking at something like about 32 tonnes of dry matter to the hectare off the complementary forage system. It's uh, helped us to maintain body condition on the cows through winter more efficiently and the cost of production for the corn silage was uh, came out very good as compared to buying in hay or silage from uh, other sources so yeah I think hopefully the the program will continue and I hope to be a part of it into the, into the future. Six irrigated dairy farms in the Hunter region were supported in implementing the principles of complementary forage systems on their farms and their experiences have been recorded in a series of case studies. Yields of upwards of 34 tonnes of dry matter per hectare were recorded in two consecutive complementary forage rotation cycles on Hunter farms. Hi, I'm Ross McDermott. We farm at Denman in the Atlanta Valley. We were asked to become involved in the CFS system to put into a commercial operation the principles that, that have been developed through the Future Dairies project. Through the project we're hoping to produce 30 tonnes of dry matter per hectare and it appears as though we're on target to do that. We've been working with the other farmers in the, in the group and this has provided us with a good sounding board to bounce off ideas as to what they do on their individual farms and the ways that they try to achieve increased production per hectare. The further development of the Mini Milk Biz Decision Support Tool occurred alongside the Future Dairy Project as we fine-tuned the measured indicators that farmers really benefited from month by month. Um, I'm David Williams and um, we're at Vasey which is in the Hunter Valley, uh, the lower part of the Hunter Valley. Um, just seeing what our feed quality has been like for the last uh, 12 months, um, doing the mini milk business each month, just to see how we're going. And um, and just seeing what other farmers are up to as well has been good as well. Yeah, like even though we can't grow corn silage here, it's been interesting to see how the results of some of the others have been getting out of their corn silage and uh, just comparing what their feed quality is like compared to ours. Mini Ration Check is another web-based tool that's used to assess the nutrient status of any dairy herd, while Milk Predict assesses the potential ration. They are user friendly and very informative. Groups of farmers have been trained in both of these decision support tools in person and via webinar in various regions across the state. Farmers across New South Wales continue to use the principles and tools introduced in the Managing Pastures for Profit program in Dairy Pathways 1 and integrate these improved pasture management principles in improving and adapting their rations offered to their herds so that the rations suit the overall production goals and capacity of individual farms. Hi, I'm Ray Johnston, Dairy Officer based at Taree with the DPI. My role in Dairy Pathways too has been the team leader for our response to natural resource management. Farmer Targets for Change led into a number of activities that we've run, including a program called the Ewan Project, which is efficient use of energy, water and nutrients. And that's been a very successful program run throughout New South Wales. Uh, we've been involved, you've been involved with the Ewan project, one of the projects from the Pathways 2 project that DPI have been running. So can you just describe to us how you've been involved personally with the Ewan project and how it, what it's meant to your farm? Well, Nick, Nick Bullock did an energy audit on our farm and identified quite a few things where there could be less energy used or money saved. Um, the first one was um, we put in a variable speed drive on our milk machine, vacuum pump, which saved us somewhere between 45 and 55 per cent of our power bill for that. We identified a plate cooler needed upgrading, which we've done. Um, looked at time of use, which we're going to do, time of use power. Um, heat recovery from the 
uh, bulk milk vat cooler to heat our or preheat our hot water. Um, so yeah, we looked at projects up to about twenty-five, maybe close on thirty thousand dollars. At this stage, we've done fifteen thousand dollars of it, and there's more to come. These programs have been rolled out throughout New South Wales and some of them, like the energy audit, have now been used uh, in other states of Australia. What sort of impact, or can you describe what's the Ewan's impact on the region that the DAG's been covering? Um, well, to date we've had a bit over 100 farms have been involved in it. Um, we had 18 demo and monitor farms set up so we could identify costs at this point before we started, um, the consumption of power they were using and reductions that could be made by changing. We had 25 farms go through nutrient budgeting and what was happening with nutrients and also another 75 with energy and water. It was another initiative that ran across New South Wales and we allowed farmers to understand the principles behind uh, climate and also the weather patterns and how they would likely affect their farms and their region. Uh, we also then incorporated the Future Dairy Ready Systems uh, project following on from those workshops and it allowed us to work with farmers to look at monitoring and measuring what's happening on their farms in terms of temperature and humidity. Uh, we've been able to roll out a lot more of the energy audits across the state and have farmer discussion groups on how to improve energy usage and reduce their carbon um, footprint on farms. So a lot of it's been rolled in with the national programs such as the accounting for nutrients, but also linking locally uh, to local catchment initiatives uh, through our CMAs. One of the key activities that I've been involved with for the Future Ready Dairy Systems was to organise a Dairy Technology Expo to be held in Taree. Uh, we had over 150 people attend that expo. We've been running for the last six years a Rotary Youth Dairy Camp and that's uh, followed on from the work that the Cows Create Careers Program has developed uh, by creating interest amongst our young people. Uh, one of the other exciting activities that we've been involved with is promoting the dairy industry uh, with Dairy Australia support. It was called Discover the Hastings Valley Dairies where we invited uh, people to come on to eight host dairy farms over two weekends and we had 270 people participate in that. Hi, I'm Julie Dart. I work with DPI on the North Coast. I've been working with a dairy team since December 2009. I work from Kempsey to the Queensland border. My area covers five mill companies. My role with the team is to run Dairy Pathways 2 activities on the north coast. We've also been running rev up replacement workshops in our area. We've run workshops at Kempsey, Dorigo, Lismore and Kyogle. Recently we had a follow up workshop at Grafton where one of our workshop participants showed his neighbours what he's been doing with the rev up replacement tools. It was a great day and we introduced another 10 people to the concept. Two dairy discussion groups at Lismore and Kyogle have been running for 20 years. Traditionally these have been run with a dairy officer, the local district agronomist and local farmers. I also work with subtropical dairy teams on the mid north coast and the far north coast including the Young Dairy Network. I also work with Dairy Industry Group in the far north coast and other service providers. So far today you've heard about the range of activities that we've been running in Dairy Pathways 2 and that the partnership we have with Dairy Australia which is very important to us and underpins a lot of our work. But we're involved in a number of other projects as well and we operate at a number of different levels in the dairy industry. So we're involved at a national level and you would have heard already about how we've been able to bring national programs such as Countdown Down Under, The People in Dairy, Grains to Milk, Cows Create Careers uh, into New South Wales and have them delivered to farmers in New South Wales. We work fairly closely with the three RDPs that covered the New South Wales dairy industry. We work with the NRM coordinator across the state in a number of 
activities and an example of that currently is the Future Ready Dairy Systems project. We do spend quite a bit of time um, interacting at a local level with our dairy industry groups, our digs and dags as we call them, responding to those needs of dairy farmers at a local level that are timely and that are relevant to the issues at the time. I'd like also to mention our dairy news our quarterly newsletter that goes out to all dairy farmers in New South Wales and a number of service providers and is available on our website as well to download. And in fact, Dairy News is now the only dairy industry publication in New South Wales um, that provides up-to-date and relevant information to farmers on a regular basis. We have a strong record in New South Wales DPI Dairy Extension team of delivering relevant, timely, unbiased activities, tools and resources to our dairy farmers in New South Wales in a supported way, in um, group setting or in a one-to-one -one setting and in a contextualised for our New South Wales.